hello friends and welcome to this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to carry out the coupled analysis that is the combination of structural and thermal let's consider this problem we are having a circular rod which is made up of structural steel having the diameter of 60 mm and 200 mm length the ambient temperature is given as 30 degrees celsius it is fixed at one end and other end is at a temperature of 150 degrees celsius the heat transfer coefficient is 10 watt per meter square per degree celsius and we have to calculate the total deformations stresses and thermal strain using ANSYS workbench so let's open the ANSYS workbench to open the ANSYS workbench click on start key and type workbench you will be get here workbench 19.1 click on it the window will be get open within now you will be get this workbench window here this is the project schematic on the left hand side there are toolboxes so initially we are going to carry out the steady state thermal analysis and then the results are coupled with the structural analysis so in analysis system you will be get the steady state thermal drag and drop it onto the project schematic there are six cells so initially the engineering data and before starting we can define the units so by default it is a metric so keep as, as it is now the name is steady state thermal and first we need to define the engineering data so if you right click and click on edit the engineering data will be get open where you can define the material so by default the structural steel will get defined and as we are going to solve the thermal analysis so thermal properties are shown here the thermal conductivity the temperature and mean stress is a zero so if you want to add any other material so there is a huge library is available in ANSYS you can click on this engineering data sources and as per the requirement you can select the material from this suppose I am going to click on general materials then as per the general materials all material will be available here you need to click on add and then it will be get reflected so that material you can able to add for the geometry also you can able to create your new material also but for this problem we are having given the material as a structural steel so no need to add anything click on this engineering data sources by default the structural steel will be get selected now close this engineering data come back to this project schematic the next thing we have to define the geometry now if you right click on it you can able to import the geometry or you can able to create the new geometry using space claim or design modeler now let's choose the space claim it will be get open within again few minutes it will show here the starting space claim now you will get this space claim window initially we are going to create the geometry in this space claim geometry we are going to create so let's move into the space claim initially we need to see select the xy plane so there are four options available at the bottom so select this new sketch pane then click on this xy plane and click on this plan view so the xy plane will be get appear in front of your screen now we are going to create a circle so select this circle command from sketch bar select this center point move your cursor and give the diameter as a 60 hit the enter key and click on escape again click on escape to come out of the command so circle is get created now we have to convert this curve into surface and then it will be converted into a solid so click on this pull icon then it will show you as a surface so select this surface rotate it to get a proper view by clicking the middle mouse button and dragging now click on this surface and drag and you can give the length so length is 200 mm so type 200 and hit the enter key and then click on escape the surface will be get converted into a solid now save this geometry <coughs> click on file save save it in proper locations I am giving the name as a shaft click on save and now close this space claim window and come back to this project schematic now the geometry is get defined then double click on this model or right click and click on edit here we need to define the meshing and boundary conditions wait for few minutes
the mechanical window is get open and it will import the geometry so wait for few minutes now the geometry is get imported it shows geometry materials coordinate system for geometry material and coordinate system the right tick mark is available so the material is already assigned if you click on this plus icon you can see that the structural material is get assigned to this geometry now we are going to apply the meshing so click on mesh right click on it and click on generate mesh so when you click on generate mesh automatic meshing will be get applied to the body now this is the by default automatic meshing will be get applied you can click on statistics to see the number of nodes and number of elements you can also check the element quality so to check the elements quality click on this quality options then click on this mesh metric so here it is defined as a none so if you click on this arrow there are various options are available you can check the element quality aspect ratio jacobian ratio warpage factor so all these things you can check one by one so let's select the element quality it will be shown in mesh matrix to see it properly you can maximize it somewhat now you can able to see that the mesh matrix where you can see that the all elements are mapped with the hex element and the element size is from 0.72 to 1 if you click on any of the element it will be shown that these elements are having the element quality of this size if you click on anywhere you can again get the proper geometry as this element quality is greater than 0.72 so it is acceptable if it is less than 0.65 then again you need to refine your meshing so you can add the methods or the refinements similar fashion we can check for the aspect ratio so again it will show that the aspect ratio from 1.25 to 2.25 it shows the aspect ratio of the hex element the ideal value of aspect ratio is 1 and it is acceptable less than 5 so if you see here it is a greater than 1.5 up to 2.33 so it is acceptable and again if you want to change the aspect ratio you can again able to add the methods or the refinement for meshing so you will be get the proper aspect ratio so here I am not going to change anything now let move on to the next we have to apply the boundary conditions so here we are going to apply only the thermal boundary conditions and not the structural so only the temperature will be applied the ambient temperature is given as a 30 and the other end the temperature is given as a 150 so let's add this so first we have to click on this initial temperature it shows this initial temperature value as a 22 which is again ambient temperature double click on it and type as a 30 and hit the enter key so this initial temperature will be get applied now click on this steady state thermal right click insert click on temperature it asks you to select the geometry select this second face select the face and click on apply it shows one face is applied and the temperature by default is 30 so double click on it and modify it as 150 hit the enter key so you can see the temperature is initial temperature 30 and final temperature is 150 degrees celsius also we have to add the convection so again right click on steady state thermal insert click on convection again it ask you to select the geometry so the convection is applied to the surface which is exposed to the fluid surface which may be a gaseous or maybe a liquid so select this surface click on apply so that face will be get selected now we have to define this film coefficient value so click on it and type as a 10 it is given in problem statement as a 10 so type the 10 and hit the enter key so all thermal boundary conditions are get defined and we are going to solve this problem and whatever the solution we required we need to add it so right click on solution click on insert thermal temperature again right click on solution insert thermal and total heat flux two things we need to add now to solve it again right click on solution and click on solve the problem will be get solved and you will be able to see the results
now the problem is solved as here the for temperature and total heat flux right tick mark is available so click on temperature to see the temperature variation let me minimize this the maximum temperature is 150 and minimum temperature is 127 so you can see here and it will be shown as a color plot you can play the animation so click on this you can able to see the animation for the to temperature variation stop now also you can able to see the total heat flux so click on total heat flux the values are given so the maximum value is 15502 and minimum value is 60.86 for this total heat flux if you want to see the directions click on this directional arrow so you can able to see that how the temperature will be the heat flux will be moved from one location to another with these arrows now in this way you can able to solve this steady state thermal analysis and now we are going to couple these results with the structural analysis so let's close this window now here you will be get all the right tick marks for the steady state thermal it means the problem will be get solved and now to couple it with the structural analysis so click on this static structural drag it on this steady state thermal from top come out to the bottom and when the solution window will be get highlighted drop it so you can see that all the engineering data geometry model all the results will be get shared with this static structural and the results are also shared within setup window so to apply the boundary conditions for static structural double click on this setup the same geometry and same meshing will be get applied wait for few minutes now the geometry as well as all the meshing will be get imported in steady state structurals you can see that same geometry materials meshing is also get applied so no need to apply the meshing it meshing again and in steady state thermal all things will be get added the solutions is also imported in static structural if you click on this imported load so if you click on this plus icon on the imported load and imported body temperature so the body temperature is not imported properly so to import it again right click on this imported body temperature and click on this import load so that temperature will be get imported now you can see that the body temperature will be get imported where it shows the maximum value minimum value and after that we can able to apply the structural boundary conditions so as per the problem statement only one end is fixed so we are going to add this boundary conditions so right click on this static structural click on insert click on fix support then it asks you to select the geometry let's select this one face click on apply so the fixed support is get applied no need to add anything as there is a only one boundary condition is given here in some problems they may be give that the force is applied to other end or the other end is also fixed in that case you have to add the other boundary conditions now in this case directly go to solve the problem and whatever the results you require you need to add it so right click on solution insert we are going to add the total deformations again solution right click insert strain then add the thermal strain again solution right click insert and click on stress equivalent one misses so these three things we are going to add now right click on solution and click on solve so the problem will be get solved and you will be able to see the deformation thermal strain and equivalent stresses for the structure due to the thermal as well as structural boundary conditions now the problem is get solved and to see the total deformation click on this total deformation you can able to get the deformation of this structure let's click on this graphics window so you will be get able to see the proper results the deformation at the right end is 0 0.0028 which is a maximum value and at the left end is 0 as it is a fixed one you can play this animation by clicking on this play icon so total deformation you can able to see now let's stop it click on the thermal strain to see the thermal strains in the body 
so again it shows the maximum value as a point double not one five and minimum value as a point double zero one two similar fashion you can able to see the equivalent stresses so stresses will be generated at the fixed end so here you will be get the maximum stresses at this end and the minimum will be at the other end so maximum value is 6.78 e raised to 8 and minimum is 15855 you can also able to play the animation for stress thermal strain and total deformation let's stop here let me zoom in now if you want to see in the proper stresses or proper temperature at the different location you need to click on this probe icon if you want to see the location at this so click on here so it will show you the stresses at that location similarly if i click here again the stresses will be shown at this location so in this way you can able to carry out this thermal and structural analysis and here you can able to couple these two to get the proper results due to the temperature variation and the structural boundary conditions i hope you will be able to carry out this couple analysis very easily thank you for watching have a nice day